Hi everyone, I'm Miss Brianna from the Hopewell Branch Library. Today I'd like to share with you some new picture book biographies we have at the library. These books are a great way to introduce kids to ordinary people who did amazing things. Let's get started. First, we have A Thousand Glass Flowers, Marietta Barovier and the Invention of the Rosetta Bee, written and illustrated by Evan Turk. This gorgeous and empowering picture book paints the portrait of Marietta Barovier, the groundbreaking Renaissance artisan who helped shape the future of Venetian glassmaking. Marietta and her family lived on the island of Murano, near Venice, as all glassmakers did in the early Renaissance. Her father, Angelo Barovier, was a true maestro, a master of glass. Marietta longed to create gorgeous glass too, but glass was men's work. One day, her father showed her how to shape the scalding hot material into a work of art, and Marietta was mesmerized. Her skills grew and grew. Marietta worked until she created her own unique glass bead, the Rosetta. Small but precious, the beautiful beads grew popular around the world and became as valuable as gold. The young girl who was once told she could not create art was now the woman who would leave her mark on glasswork for centuries to come. Beatrix Potter, Scientist, written by Lindsay H. Metcalf and illustrated by Junie Wu. Everyone knows Beatrix Potter as the creator of the Peter Rabbit stories, but before that, she was a girl of science. As a child, Beatrix collected nature specimens. As a young adult, she was an amateur mycologist presenting her research on mushrooms and other fungi to England's foremost experts. Like many women of her time, she remained unacknowledged by the scientific community. But her keen eye for observation led her to an acclaimed career as an artist and storyteller. A beloved author is cast in a new light in this inspiring picture book. Cubs in the Tub, the true story of the Bronx Zoo's first woman zookeeper. Written by Candace Fleming and illustrated by Julie Downing. When Bronx zookeeper Fred brought home a lion cub, Helen Martini instantly embraced it. The cub's mother lost the instinct to care for him. Just do for him what you would do with a human baby, Fred suggested, and she did. Helen named him MacArthur and fed him milk from a bottle and cooed him to sleep in a crib. Soon enough, MacArthur was not the only cub bathed in the tub. The couple continues to raise lion and tiger cubs as their own until they are old enough to return them to the zoos. Helen becomes the first female zookeeper at the Bronx Zoo, the keeper of the nursery. This is a terrific nonfiction book to read aloud while snuggling up with your cubs. Filled with adorable baby cats, this is a story about love, dedication, and a new kind of family. Dinosaur Lady, The Daring Discoveries of Mary Anning, the first paleontologist. Written by Linda Skears and illustrated by Marta Alvarez Miguens. As a kid, Mary Anning loved hunting for fossils with her father. One day, that hobby led to an unexpected discovery the skeleton of a creature no one had ever seen before. Mary had unearthed a dinosaur fossil, the first to ever be discovered. Her find reshaped scientific beliefs about the natural world and led to the beginning of a brand new field of study, paleontology. For the rest of her life, Mary continued to make astonishing finds and her fossils are displayed in museums all across the world. The daring discoveries of Mary Anning not only changed the scientific world, but also helped change people's attitudes towards women scientists. Dinosaur Lady is a beautiful and brilliant picture book that will enlighten children about the discovery of the dinosaurs and the importance of women scientists. Girl on a Motorcycle, written by Amy Noveski and illustrated by Julie Morstad. Enfance Dotville dreamed of going elsewhere. And so in 1973, she left Paris behind and became the first woman to ride a motorcycle around the world alone. From Canada to India, from Afghanistan to Turkey, en France persisted with little more than two small saddlebags filled with a modest toolkit, first aid, a sleeping bag, and a notebook. Despite flat tires and many rough falls, she always got back on her bike and kept riding, committed to her goal of seeing and experiencing the world. Instead of being fearful of new people and places or closed off to cultures or traditions, she found humanity at every turn, discovering that the world is beautiful and people are good. Kamala Harris, Rooted in Justice, written by Nikki Grimes, illustrated by Laura Freeman. 
Discover the incredible story of a young daughter of immigrants who grow up to be the first woman, first black person, and first South Asian American ever elected vice president of the United States in this moving picture book biography of Kamala Harris. When Kamala Harris was young, she often accompanied her parents to civil rights marches. So many, in fact, that when her mother asked a frustrated Kamala what she wanted, the young girl responded with freedom. As Kamala grew from a small girl in Oakland to a senator running for president, it was this long fostered belief in freedom and justice for all people that shaped her into the inspiring figure she is today. From fighting for the use of a soccer field in middle school to fighting for the people of her home state in Congress, Senator Harris used her voice to speak up for what she believed in and for those who were otherwise unheard. And now this dedication has led her all the way to being elected Vice President of the United States. Told in Nikki Grimes' stunning verse and featuring gorgeous illustrations by Laura Freeman, this picture book biography brings to life a story that shows all young people that the American dream can belong to all of us if we fight for one another. Lift As You Climb, The Story of Ella Baker, written by Patricia Hubri Powell, illustrated by R. Gregory Christie. Long before the civil rights movement of the 1950s and 60s, Ella Baker worked to lift others up by fighting racial injustice and empowering poor African Americans to stand up for their rights. Her dedication and grassroots work in many communities made her a valuable ally for leaders like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and she has been ranked as one of the most influential women in the civil rights movement. In the 1960s, she worked to register voters at organized sit-ins, and she became a teacher and mentor to many young activists. Caldecott winner R. Gregory Christie's powerful pictures pair with Patricia Hubri Powell's poignant words to paint a vivid portrait of the fight for the freedom of the human spirit. Numbers in Motion, Sophie Kowalewski, Queen of Mathematics, written by Lori Walmark and illustrated by Yevgenia Neyberg. A picture book biography of Sophie Kowalewski, who is both a brilliant mathematician and a talented writer. This inspiring title tells the story of Sophie's journey as the first woman to receive a doctorate in mathematics, which required original research, holding a university chair in mathematics, and becoming the editor of a major scientific journal. A wonderful steam figure, she not only did mathematical research, but she also created many literary works. The Oldest Student, How Mary Walker Learned to Read, written by Rita Lorraine Hubbard and illustrated by Oge Mora. Imagine learning to read at the age of 116. Discover the true story of Mary Walker, the nation's oldest student who did just that. In 1848, Mary Walker was born into slavery. At age 15, she was freed, and by age 20, she was married and had her first child. By age 68, she had worked numerous jobs, including cooking, cleaning, babysitting, and selling sandwiches to raise money for her church. At 114, she was the last remaining member of her family. And at 116, she learned to read. Read this inspirational story of Mary Walker, a woman whose long life spanned from the Civil War to the Civil Rights Movement and who, with perseverance and dedication, proved that you're never too old to learn. Perkins Perfect Purple, How a Boy Created Color with Chemistry, written by Tammy Lewis Brown and Debbie Lauren Dunn, illustrated by Francesca Sanna. Many years ago, the color purple was available only to a privileged few because the process was very complicated and expensive. Then, in 1856, a boy named William Henry Perkin was testing a hypothesis about a cure for malaria and found that his experiment resulted in something else, something vivid and rare for the times, synthetic purple. Perkin, a pioneer of the modern scientific method, made numerous advances possible, including canned food and chemotherapy. But it was his creation of purple that started it all. This book is a joyous celebration of Perkins' impactful purple. The Polio Pioneer, Dr. Jonas Salk and the Polio Vaccine, written by Linda Elovitz Marshall and illustrated by Lisa Anchin. Dr. Jonas Salk is one of the most celebrated doctors and medical researchers of the 20th century. The child of immigrants who never learned to speak English, Jonas was struck by the devastation he saw when the soldiers returned from battle after World War II. Determined to help, 
He worked to become a doctor and eventually joined the team that created the influenza vaccine. But Jonas wanted to do more. As polio ravaged the United States, even the president was not immune. Jonas decided to lead the fight against this terrible disease. In 1952, Dr. Jonas Salk invented the polio vaccine, which nearly eliminated polio from this country. For the rest of his life, Dr. Salk continued to do groundbreaking medical research at the Salk Institute, leaving behind a legacy that continues to make the world a better place every day. This compelling picture book biography sheds light on Dr. Salk's groundbreaking journey and the importance of vaccination. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, Aretha Franklin, the Queen of Soul. Written by Carol Boston Weatherford and illustrated by Frank Morrison. Aretha Franklin was born to sing. The daughter of a pastor and a gospel singer, her musical talent was clear from her earliest days in her father's Detroit church. Aretha sang with a soaring voice that spanned more than three octaves. Her incredible talent and string of hit songs earned her the title, The Queen of Soul. This queen was a multi-Grammy winner and the first female inductee to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And there was even more to Aretha than being a singer, songwriter, and pianist. She was an activist too. Her song Respect was an anthem for people fighting for civil rights and women's rights. With words that sing and art that shines, this vibrant portrait of Aretha Franklin pays her the R-E-S-P-E-C-T this queen of soul deserves. She was the first. The Trailblazing Life of Shirley Chisholm, written by Katherine Russell Brown and illustrated by Eric Velazquez. In 1964, Shirley Chisholm took her voice and leadership to politics, becoming the first black woman elected to the New York State Assembly and the first black woman elected to Congress. Then, in 1972, she became the first black woman to seek the presidency of the United States. Shirley Chisholm, a woman of many firsts, was an unforgettable political trailblazer, a candidate of the people and catalyst of change, who opened the door for women in the political arena and for the first black president of the United States. Thanks to Frances Perkins, Fighter for Workers' Rights, written by Deborah Hawkinson and illustrated by Christy Caldwell. Sometimes one moment changes a person's life, and that person goes on to change other lives. That's what happened to Frances Perkins. After she witnessed the 1911 catastrophic fire at the Triangle Waste Company, in which 146 people died, she devoted her life to improving conditions for workers. Frances became the first woman to serve in a president's cabinet. As Secretary of Labor under President Franklin D. Roosevelt, she helped pass new laws like the 1935 Social Security Act, part of Roosevelt's New Deal. Today, millions of Americans depend on Social Security benefits. And we can thank Frances Perkins for her dedication to the ideal of society where no one is left out. If you would like to find these books and other picture book biographies at the library, you can place the titles you like on hold, and when they are available, you can call your branch to arrange curbside pickup. You can also visit us during our open public hours. Please be sure to visit our website at www.mcl.org for the most up-to-date information. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll join us for more virtual book displays in the future.